Hey everybody, welcome back. We are looking tonight on what we want to fill that void with. Obviously this tractor had a PTO on it at one time, and I actually do have the PTO that was on this tractor. But we're going to discuss the options that we have and kind of go through some of the Caterpillar PTOs for the D4 size tractors. So the first option I have here is a belt drive unit. If we go to the book here, this is a 3B2723 housing. 3B2723 housing. So this will put it at, with the pulley, would be a 3B1401. Now, this has been converted from a paper pulley to a steel pulley. It does have the lever here. I do have some of the linkage that goes with it. Unfortunately, I think the breather has been broken off. So we'd have to figure out something there, that mushroom top breather. If we go to the book there, you can see it right there. But coupler's there for the drive. Face looks good. This should all clean up. It does rotate. Uh, this is just option one. Let's go look at option two, option three, and option four. So option two is hiding under the air compressor on the D47U. Now for those of you that remember, this is a high speed unit. This is a 1200 RPM unit. Really doesn't do a whole lot of good unless you have something to run directly with it. Uh, it does not have a six spline PTO. It does not have a flat belt. It's this one set up with a pulley with V belts. From Caterpillar, if we look in the book here, as I said, it's a 1200 RPM unit. This is a 5B7690. And if we look at this cover, it's a 5B7474. 5B7474. So that would be an option. Now, more than likely, all I'm going to end up doing with this one is copying the linkage, how it's routed and how it works, lengths, dimensions, etc. because this is the only fully functional and complete linkage system I have. So let's go move on to the newest options. So the third option here is a two-speed unit. And what I mean by two-speed is that lever there, depending on which direction you go, either in or out, you will have a high and a low speed. Now low speed from my understanding is reverse, at least by the operator's manual. I have yet to actually verify that, but in there it says that it does go backwards. I don't know why you'd ever want a 540 backwards because 540 is your low and then 705 is your high. If we come over here to the parts book, it's a 4B589, power takeoff two speed, 545 705 now if you look there we are missing the l829 handle that has been broken off not too concerned i believe i could just drill and tap the end of that run a piece of threaded rod in there and then screw a handle onto it maybe flush that break off a little bit and clean that up uh, another thing Currently, the lever does not move. It's stuck in neutral position. I'm not too worried about it. Both the PTO and the input shaft move. Once again, input shaft does have the coupler. That's a good thing. They can be a little hard to find. And then we'll move on to the fourth one. Now, this is the PTO that actually came on the 5T crawler. Or I should say, was on the 5T crawler. I bought the crawler without it because when I looked at the pictures of it, I saw that the casting was broke. Now, I thought that it was this main casting that was broke, and that's why I really wasn't too interested in it. Later found out it is just where the PTO shield bolts on, and I do have the shield down here, and I do have the pieces that go with it right here. So it's just a matter of cleaning out the old booger welds that they had in there and putting this piece back in, or I should say pieces. And with the shield there, you could bolt into here, bolt your pieces in to hold it while you get everything kind of situated. This one does have part 
of the actuating assembly with it, but not all of it. Uh, it does turn. It's sitting on the shaft there. You can see coupler on this one as well. Now, I'm going to explain which one I think should go where, and then I kind of want your guys' opinion as well. My thoughts are between the crawlers, the D4s anyway, this one should go back on the 5T. That would give me a 540 RPM PTO shaft. We could hook up uh, tons of implements. I, I guess I don't know exactly what we're going to run, but the option is there. As far as the two-speed goes, I would much rather put this one on the RD4. Now the reason I say the RD4 is they make a belt drive unit that comes out of here. Now the belt drive unit we discussed in the beginning of the video was the one I initially planned on putting on the RD4, and it may still end up there. I'm not 100% set yet, but if I can get the belt drive accessory that goes off of this one, which if we go to the book, looks like this. This would be very similar to like what Squatch 253 has, how it slides on the back. It's a removable piece. You can flip it over and run it either way, but you don't necessarily have to, being that this is a two-speed and your two speeds are reversed from one another. Like I said, the lower RPM spins backwards to the higher RPM. If you look here, there are two dowels and a bolt hole circle that that would bolt onto. Now, I have located one. I'm still trying to work out a deal on it. We'll see what I can come up with. Um, I would really, really like to have it. I think it'd be a neat feature. It kind of completes this PTO as a unit, being able to both run the belt drive and have the 540 PTO. So I guess to just kind of highlight the reasons why I'm picking what's going to go where. This leaves both options open for the RD4. If I want to run a belt drive, I can. If we want to pull a PTO, it's 8 bolts and I can pull that off. We can run something with, you know, a 540 PTO. The 5T, I don't envision running a whole lot of belt drive stuff off it. I really don't. And if it really comes down to that I need to run... A bunch of belt drive stuff I can swap the entire unit the RD4 is going to be more of a show tractor it will get worked but the 5t is going to be more of a working tractor I would have no problem with this on the RD4 and a belt pulley attachment yet on top of this running a sawmill at the shows, you know, doing stuff like that, or a threshing machine, or what, whatever it may be. But if someone needed to run something with a 540 PTO, like I said, we could pull eight bolts, slide that off, we're ready to go. Whereas with this unit, you're stuck with the 540, or with the belt drive unit, you're stuck with that. So I kind of, I like the versatility of this unit. So I'm just kind of curious what you guys think. I'll kind of wait back to wait to hear back from you guys, but I believe this one should go back where it came from, down here on this crawler. And I will tell you guys, I'm gonna need this plate real soon. I can't tell you why, but I'm gonna need it. So we're gonna have to figure out which one we want to put back on here. We're gonna have to get it cleaned up, kind of go through it quick, and get it shoved back on here. Maybe clean some of the back up before we do that. So let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. We'll kind of go over the options again here maybe in the next video after you guys kind of give me your input. What are you doing, Finn? So until next time, thanks guys.